Clustered, messy, and disrupted. That is how Catitude Gallery's director Bonnie Lewis feels in her studio after her nonprofit had to close its doors with art supplies and art pieces now left homeless. It was very sad. We had put in incredible amounts of time and volunteers and physical work and money to come to a place of maybe it is just not a value in this area. Catitude Gallery and Studio is a nonprofit that helps elevate and celebrate local artists, in addition to creating new artists with junior and senior art classes. After four years, Catitude Gallery felt forced to leave this location in historic Avondale due to a lack of funds and support. Well, Avondale is a what they call a social services-based funding city. They have a, a they feel they have a large. Uh, resident and constituency that needs social services. So um, that's where their money goes. They do not give to art programs. So finding that out the hard way <laughs> was a little tough on us. The city of Avondale declined to interview but released a statement over email saying, Our city council has placed priority on services that provide health and human services such as addressing homelessness, literacy, and feeding the hungry. And, since 2014, Catitude has received over $3,000 in donations and funding. Avondale resident Joette Lair says there should be more balance between funding arts and services. Well, I've been on both ends. Mm -hmm. I mean, I enjoy the arts, I've been the libraries and music and, and projects such as this, but I've also been on the other end where I needed some social services and that was very helpful. Catitude is actively searching for a new location and funds to continue their purpose. I just still feel hopeful and I still feel that, that there is value in what we're trying to do and that hopefully we can gather like-minded people and move forward with this. For Cronkite News, I'm Courtney Balson.